there are a lot of different types of research programs on offer around the globe, but not a lot of these are actually contributing to real research. How this particular program, Underwater Africa, differs from the, some of these other programs is that it's really contributing data to a, a long-running research program here in Tofu Beach, Mozambique. Uh, we've been working along this coastline for over a decade, and we're now in need of more volunteers to be able to contribute to our growing data sets. So if you want to actually make a difference and go on vacation and really give back, this is the program that you want to be involved in. Mozambique looking for whale sharks and to explore the Mozambican coastline. You now two months later several whale sharks, manta rays, Small smaller eyes. stingrays. Uh, we could say it's, it's been, been awesome. awesome and we are really excited to come back. Underwater Africa has developed four, eight, twelve and sixteen week packages for volunteers to be able to come out and assist researchers in the field here in Tofu Beach. I'm extremely proud of our diverse team and wide range of research programs here in Tofu Beach and I want to be able to share them uh, with the public. This volunteer program allows people to come out to Tofu and work with all of our different principal scientists and research students on a wide range of different research programs, including work on manta rays, whale sharks, dugongs, marine turtles, dolphins, and a lot of other threatened species of, of marine megafauna. If you love the ocean and you love animals, this is the place for you. The programs being developed by Underwater Africa are being developed in conjunction with our principal scientists here at Marine Megafauna. That includes myself, people like Dr. Simon Pierce, world leading experts on megafauna species. We anticipate developing these programs so that they're extremely meaningful and that the data being captured by volunteers will be used directly in our research programs here in Tofu Beach. Hey, I'm Narciso Nyaposa. I'm from Tofu, Mozambique. I love the ocean. I'm surfing champions. I'm so happy that the volunteers are coming here to help us with marine education and swimming. We created Nemus Picano to teach local kids how to swim. Because they need to save their life in the ocean, they live close to the sea and they don't know how to swim. So they need to save their life, they need to enjoy the ocean, they need to, they need to see what's inside because they live so many years and close to the ocean, they don't know what's inside. So we make them to save their life, to swim, and enjoy the, the life in the ocean. We are very happy that volunteers come to Tofu, Mozambique, to work with us and live with us. We take the volunteers to the school to teach the kids about marine conservation. So we're teaching them about whale shark, manta ray, dugongs and other animals that live in ocean because in future when oh, they're getting old so they must protect them and love them. We are taking volunteers to our village, show them how to cook local dish, how to, to make the cashew nuts, how to watering the plants, how to feed the chickens and to show them the beautiful people in the village, to meet the kids, to meet the animals, to, to see the goats, and all that beautiful stuff that is our village. Diving on Tofu's reefs is a core activity of our program and offers volunteers the opportunity to experience the diverse ecosystems of the Inyambang coast. During their dives, volunteers collect data on the various megafauna that are seen on our reefs, from manta rays, sea turtles, and whale sharks, potato groupers, leopard sharks, and the rare small-eyed stingray. 
They receive hands-on training on how to record environmental data and describe the diversity of each reef's plankton community. Now, throughout their scientific diving, Underwater Africa volunteers have helped to understand how megafauna populations have changed in the last few years. As an extension of this, in 2016, we're going to launch our Reef Health Study, which will examine the health of these marine ecosystems. This will provide us with a holistic understanding of the changing properties of the reefs and teach volunteers how to accurately assess the biotic and abiotic elements that compose the reef community. We're fortunate in having such beautiful reefs on our doorstep, and the more we experience this underwater world, the more we want to protect it. Volunteers will be involved in a wide range of research techniques involving uh, photo IDing animals, tissue sampling, laser photogrammetry, um, and visual surveys. Um, they'll also learn valuable skills such as uploading uh, photo IDs to global databases such as uh, www.wheelshark.org and mantamatcher.org. Volunteers opting to stay for a longer period of time will also get much more involved in their research program. Underwater Africa are extremely lucky to be located in such close proximity to the Inhambarn estuary. Estuaries are where freshwater and marine water mix and so they generally host a very diverse set of animal life. The estuary contains several ecosystems and these include mangroves, reefs, mudflats and intertidal regions. It also hosts several iconic species such as dugongs, dolphins and sharks. Unfortunately they are also the most pressured ecosystems as they are surrounded by human populations. Once a week, volunteers head to the estuary on a traditional Dao fishing boat to study one of the reefs. We investigate the animals present, their age, the habitats they're using, their behaviour, in order to gain a full understanding of the ecosystem. Once we have this information, we want to give it to local communities and stakeholders to empower them to manage the ecosystem sustainably. We are also extremely lucky to be doing all of this work in one of the most beautiful places on the planet. One of underwater Africa's field expeditions is to the Pandani Coral Gardens, an hour's drive south of Tofu. Here we find something beautiful, a shallow inshore reef that is filled with a stunning diversity of corals, more than all the offshore reefs combined. Now to our knowledge, this is the most coral rich reef in southern Inyamban. However, indiscriminate fishing and the direct removal of corals for the Mozambican curio trade is threatening the stability of this ecosystem. As a biodiversity hotspot and a popular tourist destination, it's vital we protect the small reef before the damage becomes irreversible. So we're currently making a comprehensive assessment of the marine community that exists in Pandani. After this, we can then begin to focus on the endangered or reef engineer species that reside in the reef, whilst also looking at what are being most commonly fished. With the aim of working towards a locally managed fishery, we visit Pandani twice a month to free dive and collect data on the state of the coral gardens. It is a stunning and popular trip, made all the better by the knowledge that we are contributing towards marine conservation in Mozambique. Hello, my name's Maddie. I came out to Mozambique to volunteer with Underwater Africa and it's been an amazing project. We've done so much from Danny to monitor the coral reefs, diving loads, we've seen manta rays, whale sharks, been to the estuary, collected data on the health of the reef there, and we go out in the community and teach them about sharks and overfishing, teaching them how to surf and swim, and yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. I'd recommend it. <laughs> Do it, come and volunteer. <laughs>